Peace, peace, peace. It's Spirit with Allen Family Network. And today we're going to dive deep into how to clean your credit, revamp your credit, whatever we want to call it, repair your credit using the administrative process. So, and this is something that we do. So we perform that as a service. We help people, you know, we help to revamp people's credit. That's what we call it. Repair, clean, whatever you want to call it. But what we use is the administrative process to do that. So let's dive deep into it. And if you see me reading off my laptop right here, I'm reading this directly from our course and our digital book. And if you want to learn how to do this yourself step by step and a multitude of other things, you can use the links below to enroll in our Wealth University today. But let's get into it. So we use the administrative process. So this is one of the fastest and easiest ways, in my opinion, to clean and rebuild your credit. The admin process, that's what we call it for short, is a legal process consisting of two to four letters typically used by debt collectors with the goal of defaulting the everyday person out of their legal right to something. Right. But we take we took that and we use it for, for love and positivity, you know, but basically so a default. What is a default? So a default happens when you can't or do not address a situation or an accusation made by a person or a business. That's a default. So, for example, if you ask the company like your credit card company that you have a debt with, if they can legally prove that you that that you owe this debt. And let's say they do not respond to your questions. You legally have the right to give them 30 to 90 days to, to respond and if they don't respond point for point to all of your questions, you can default them using the admin process, the administrative process. So a default means to give up your legal right to accuse someone of something. Once again, so defaulting happens when you can't or do not address a situation or an accusation made by a person or a business. So when you don't respond like a, like a Drake and a uh, what what is it? A, a Drake and a K dot beef. When Drake is not responding, technically he 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 default, you know. And a default means to give up your legal right to accuse someone of something. So using that same analogy, if you don't respond when they say that, then by default, what they said is true, you know. And you can't go back on your word because you didn't respond within the correct amount of time, which is typically thirty to ninety days. You get me? You with me? All right, cool. So really quickly, the admin process can help you default creditors on your credit report by asking them to validate the debt, which is to legally prove that you that they have the necessary documentation to prove that you owe a debt. So I know that was a funny way of saying that, but um, basically they have to prove that you owe a debt by, and they have to do that by having a proper legal documentations to prove that. So most, in our opinion, never have the original documentation like the original contract you signed in the beginning with them. That's if you ever signed the contract with them in the first place. Key thing to know. Now let's dive into the administrative process. I'm going to break it down for you step by step. So the first letter to go out, the first step, that is the debt validation. So basically, we're respectfully demanding verification of the debt and we typically we typically give them three days for delivery 21 days for review and three days for return so when we send that letter out and once again you can join our course you can enroll in our wealth university and we have all those templates all those letters for you but the first letter the debt validation process we send that out we give them a, about 27 days to respond to that and then if they don't we send out the next mailing. The next mailing is called a fault and dishonor. So um, this that's basically that's that's our way of letting the debt collectors know that there has been an insufficient or a lack of response to your first letter or, or presentment. So long story short, hey, you didn't respond to my first letter. I'm giving you a, I'm giving you another chance to respond. And we kind of have to do that. But that's what we're doing. So that's called a fault and dishonor. And we're given three days for delivery, three days for review, three days for return. Total of nine days. Dead with the second letter. Nine days before we send out the third letter. And the third letter 
is called a default and opportunity to cure. So a, a default and opportunity to cure is basically a letter that's basically is a letter that you will send to the alleged debt collector once again, letting them know that they have defaulted by not responding to that first letter, which is your affidavit of truth with their own, including rebutting that letter point for point. So long story short, hey, we default you because you didn't respond to that first letter. It's been, you know, it's been over 30 days now, whatever, you know, however days has passed. You haven't responded. We're defaulting you. That's a letter letting them know that they're defaulted. And remember, a default means to give up your legal right to accuse someone of something. So if they're saying that you owe a debt when you default them from there, they it's taking away that right to accuse you of that until they can provide the necessary documentation and respond to that first letter that we sent. Make sense? And then, so with that one, once again, we're giving them nine days to respond. And then we got the fourth letter. So that's, it's called the estoppel by acquiescence notice. <laughs> All right. So this is a notice to inform the debt collector. You have received no response to the default notice and list the terms and conditions to which they have agreed to based on their silence. And we're giving them nine days to check that one out. So, so that's complete. That's the administrative process. So long story short, they defaulted kind of like court. They defaulted from there based on their silence. Here's the terms that they agreed to. You know, it's just like in court. If you don't show up to court, um, from there, the other side, whatever accusations and whatever that they make it on you, nine times out of 10, the judge is going to say, hey, that's granted because the other side didn't even show to defend themselves. That's what's kind of happening in this paperwork and administrative process. And from there, we send all. So basically, we take the administrative process, all of those letters. We just take copies of all four of them and we send it over to a few different places, but to all the credit bureaus. And we let them know, hey, they're saying that I owe this debt, but they defaulted on that because they didn't respond within the amount of time they were supposed to legally. So, hey, I need you to remove this from our credit reports. And then, boom, from there, it's removed off your credit reports and you, sh and you should be good. And that's how, that's like our way and that's how we go about cleaning and repairing credit. Long story short. So, uh, I'm Spirit with Allen Family Network. It's been a pleasure. Peace.